hello people welcome to my channel physio guide by devya today i am going to teach about hydrocephalus hydrocephalus it's a non specific means not particular to a specific condition but it may result in a diverse group of conditions like uh, so as a result there will be impaired circulation will be absorption of cerebrospinal fluid or from increased production of choroid flexes okay this is the main definition we can say now classification it is divided into obstructive hydrocephalus so from the name only obstruction means limit there is a obstruction to the circulation of cerebrospinal fluid either within the ventricles or aqueduct so it is caused by aqueductal stenosis vein of galen aneurysm or next one arnold charon malformation okay by these three next communicating hydrocephalus this is the most commonly follows a sub sub most commonly follows a subarachnoid hemorrhage okay by this next overproduction of the cerebrospinal fluid also these are both it's classified into three types now what are the signs and symptoms in this clinical features as a result there will be enlargement of head it's seen more prominently see this is a normal this is enlargement of head anterior fontanella is wide open and bulging bulging and scalp scalp veins are dilated the forehead is broad and the eyes may be deviated deviate downwards producing the setting sun sign like this okay next they'll see vomiting a headache deterioration of con deterioration of consciousness disturbance in the muscle tone reflexes and co coordination muscle and coordination percussions of the skin may produce a cracking pot or mcquiven sign including separation of the sutures papilledema abdu abducens nerve palsy pyramidal tract sign and apparent is most common in this all next treatment it is divided into shunting technique treatment is it is divided into three types shunting technique non shunting technique and rehabilitation third one for suppose this is a person these are the ventricles see from here the shunting is done this is a shunt means this is a small hole passes that allows fluid from one part of the body to the other part so from ventricles it is passing to the abdomen now we'll read shunting means shunting technique the ventricular peritoneal shunt the surgery relieves intracranial pressure in the hydrocephalus by shunting fluid from the ventricles of the brain into the abdominal cavity through a catheter valve system the pressure effect on the brain are to thus relieved by this method next one non shunting technique this technique this technique uh, means uh, choroid choroid uh, flexotomy removal of it removal of choroid flexes that that tissue that manufactures and the use of the rickmans reservoir and catheter so these are the part of the mechanism to drain fluid in hydrocephalus okay now rehabilitation rehabilitation is done according to the residual spasticity or weakness based on that rehabilitation should be suggested and should be done based on the severity of the spasticity and weakness okay i hope you understood this topic thank you for watching this video